The impact of New Zealand clubs and gangs is a topic of significant discussion, encompassing their activities, strength, composition, and apparent growth. While calculating club or gang membership numbers is challenging, understanding the available data sources and their limitations is crucial. According to the Department of Corrections, gangs and biker clubs have been present in New Zealand communities and prisons for generations, deeply rooted in certain parts of society. In recent years, the proportion of the prison population with identified gang or club affiliations has been rising, reflecting the growth of these groups in the wider community. Over the past three decades, the percentage of people in prison with clubs and gang affiliations has steadily increased, with approximately 35% of the prison population having gang or club affiliations at any given time. The Department of Corrections identifies individuals as connected to a gang or a club through various means, including gang or club tattoos and markings, documentation, paraphernalia, admissions to staff, staff observations, and intelligence from other sources. Here is a list of top clubs and gangs that are populating the New Zealand prisons. At the forefront of the list stands the Mongrel Mob, holding the distinction of having the highest prison population among all New Zealand gangs, thanks to its status as the largest gang in the country. With an extensive network spanning over 30 chapters nationwide and additional operations both in Australia and overseas, the Mongrel Mob dominates the prison population in terms of incarcerated gang members. According to the latest data from the Parliamentary Library's 2022 report, there were approximately 810 registered mongrel mob members. However, current estimates for this year suggest their ranks have grown considerably, potentially approaching the 1,000-member mark. This consistent upward trajectory underscores the gang's adeptness at recruiting new members and reinforcing its status as New Zealand's largest gang. Beyond mere numerical figures, the mongrel mob's activities and societal influence are areas of profound concern. Their involvement in criminal enterprises, including drug trafficking, acts of violence, and participation in organized crime, continues to pose formidable challenges to law enforcement agencies in the country. The mongrel mob's primary rival in the New Zealand gang landscape is the formidable Black Power Gang, which holds the second position in this list. This enduring rivalry between the mongrel mob and black power has deep historical roots, marked by territorial disputes, violent clashes, and ongoing competition for influence and control within the criminal underworld. Both gangs, known for their distinctive patches and affiliations, have historically vied for dominance in various regions of New Zealand. This rivalry has often spilled over into criminal activities, resulting in confrontations that have drawn the attention of law enforcement agencies. According to the latest data from the Parliamentary Library's 2022 report, there were approximately 505 registered Black Power members. However, current estimates for this year suggest their numbers have grown considerably, and there are around 740 Black Power members in New Zealand prisons. The power struggle between these two prominent gangs underscores the complex dynamics at play within New Zealand's gang culture, and it remains a significant challenge for authorities tasked with maintaining law and order while addressing the root causes of gang involvement in the country. Third in the list are the Killer Bees, they are a large street gang based in New Zealand, mainly based in the South Auckland area. They were founded in 2003, inside New Zealand's high-security prison. The Killer Bees is headed by Josh Masters, a well-known kickboxer, also a former vice president of the Tribesman MC. According to the latest data from the Parliamentary Library's 2022 report, there were approximately 284 KBs in prisons. However, current estimates for this year suggest their numbers have gone up, and there are around 302 Killer Bees affiliates in New Zealand prisons. This number has increased by 6% within a year. A large population of this gang is also present in the youth facilities. Founded in 1990s, they emerged as a prominent rogue street gang in South Auckland, originating as a branch of the larger tribesman gang. Initially, the group was primarily constituted of Polynesian youth who were in search of a sense of belonging and identity. Drawing inspiration from American street culture and hip-hop, the gang adopted the name Killer Bees. Next on the list is the Crip Street Gang. In 2022, the Crip Street Gang had a reported presence of 244 members in New Zealand prisons. 
As of the latest estimates from upcoming reports, their numbers have seen a slight increase, reaching an approximate total of 251 members incarcerated in New Zealand's prison system. The Crips, originally founded in Los Angeles, California, have managed to establish a presence in various parts of the world, including New Zealand, where they are known for their involvement in criminal activities and gang-related conflicts. Law enforcement agencies and community organizations continue to monitor and address the impact of the Crips gang on New Zealand's communities, with a focus on reducing gang-related crime and promoting rehabilitation programs for youth involved in these activities. Majority New Zealand Crips are Polynesian and Native Maori. These gangs start with younger boys who could not join bigger gangs and are influenced by heavy rap culture. They usually begin their criminal journey with petty crimes such as stealing and vandalism, gradually escalating to more serious offenses. These early crimes often serve as an initiation process into the gang and a way for young members to prove their loyalty. It's a concerning cycle that law enforcement and community organizations aim to break by providing alternative opportunities and support to at-risk youth to steer them away from the path of criminal behavior and gang involvement. The fifth gang on this list is the Notorious Headhunters Gang, which has made a significant impact on New Zealand's criminal landscape. In 2022, the Headhunters had a reported presence of 129 members incarcerated in New Zealand prisons, a testament to their strong presence within the country's criminal justice system. As of the latest estimates from upcoming reports, their numbers have experienced a slight uptick, with approximately 138 members now incarcerated in New Zealand's prison system. The Headhunters Gang, known for its aggressive and organized criminal activities, has faced ongoing scrutiny from law enforcement agencies and community organizations in New Zealand. Efforts to curb their influence and reduce gang-related crime continue to be a priority, with a focus on dismantling the gang's operations, reducing their clubhouses, apprehending its members involved in criminal activities, and implementing rehabilitation programs to break the cycle of gang involvement in the country. The last group in this list is the Comancheros Motorcycle Club, a gang known for its connections to Australia and its presence in New Zealand. The majority of Comanchero members in New Zealand are the Australian 501 deportees. These Australian Como members were sent back to New Zealand due to criminal activities and cancelled visas and since have established branches in New Zealand. Their population in prisons increased due to various anti-drug operations launched by New Zealand police in Auckland, Bay of Plenty and South Island regions. In 2022, the Comancheros had a reported prison population of 78 members, reflecting their active involvement in criminal activities within New Zealand. It is being reported that the Como High Rankers are actively recruiting inside New Zealand prisons and their numbers are on a rise. As of the latest estimates from upcoming reports, their prison population has increased to 93 members, indicating a growth in their influence and presence within New Zealand's criminal justice system. The Comancheros, like other transnational motorcycle clubs, engage in a range of criminal activities, including drug trafficking, extortion, and violence. Their operations have been a concern for law enforcement agencies in both Australia and New Zealand. In addition to their criminal activities outside of prison, these gangs have a significant presence within New Zealand's prison system. The prison populations of these gangs, including the Mongrel Mob, Black Power, Killer Bees, the Crips, Headhunters, and Comancheros, collectively reflect the deep-rooted influence they have in the criminal justice system. Many members of these gangs find themselves behind bars, often for offenses related to their gang involvement, which can range from drug trafficking to violent crimes. As New Zealand continues its commitment to public safety and crime reduction, the management of gang-affiliated prisoners remains an integral part of the nation's criminal justice strategy.